Let's meet a doctor. Hello, doctor. <laughs> Chapter one. The youngest patients. Hello. Our class is on a mission. We want to find out what a doctor does. We decide to talk to Dr. Zambil. He's a pediatrician. That's a doctor who treats children. Doctors are workers in the community. A community is a group of people who live in the same city, town, or neighborhood. I help kids feel their best, he says. How do you do that? asks Jaden. Dr. Zambiel explains by telling us about his day. Dr. Zambiel works in a clinic. He sees about 20 patients each day. They are babies, children, and teenagers. Some are sick or hurt. I find out what's wrong, he says. They may need medicine. They may need to rest. Sometimes they need to go to the hospital. Doctors write prescriptions for medicine. A prescription tells a pharmacist what medicine a patient needs. Here you go. It also tells the patient when to take the medicine. Sick or injured children may see a specialist. A specialist is a doctor who treats one part of the body, such as the heart. Some specialists are also pediatricians. JJ raises his hand. I went to the hospital when I was little, but I'm better now. Good, Dr. Zambiel says. That's our goal. We want you to be healthy so you can reach your goals too. My goal is to be a tightrope walker, Nick says. Uh-oh, Dr. Zambiel says. Chapter 2 Checkups I went to the doctor when I wasn't sick, Katya says. That's good, Dr. Zambiel says. Kids should see a doctor once a year for checkups. He checks their ears. He listens to their hearts. He asks if they eat healthy food. He asks if they run around. These things help kids stay well. Okay, hold still. Doctors examine ears with a tool called an otoscope. They listen to the heart with a stethoscope. Shots make you immune to some diseases, such as measles. That means your body protects itself from the germs that cause the disease. Do you give kids shots? Paul asks. Don't worry, dear. You'll be just fine. Nurses do, Dr. Zambiel says. They took classes. That didn't hurt a bit, did it? They know how to make the shots hurt less. 
Chapter 3 Doctor School Did you have to take classes too? Asks Paul. Yes, lots of them, Dr. Zambiel says. We learn that Dr. Zambiel went to grade school for nine years, high school for four years, and college for four years. Then he had medical school and training for seven years. That's 24 years of school and a lot of homework. Medical school lasts four years. Then students become residents and fellows. They see patients. Other doctors help them. This takes three to ten years. When I'm not at the clinic, I teach, Dr. Zambiel says. Like Ms. Wynn, we say, looking at our teacher. Yes, but I don't teach in a classroom, he says. I teach at the hospital. My students learn to be doctors by seeing real patients. Open wide. That's it. Medical students spend time at a hospital during every year of medical school. Experienced doctors teach them how to treat patients. Lainey raises her hand. I was a real patient. I went to the hospital when I broke my arm. You probably had an x-ray. Dr. Zambiel holds one up. That's what it looks like on the inside. Oh, I want one. X-rays are pictures that show the bones and organs inside your body. But most of the time, these aren't needed during a visit to the doctor. We all want to tell Dr. Zambiel about our injuries. But he has to go see patients. And we have to go to recess. Running around keeps us healthy. Because Dr. Zambi lends a hand to help us feel our best, we give him a hand. Thanks, kids. If you don't have books, what are you waiting for? It's a kid-safe, ad-free library full of so many storybooks that are brought to life. Ask your grown-up and start exploring more fun stories like these. You have to go and ask for books. Enjoy the specialties of this app right here. Go on. Come on. Go off. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. For more stories, try the Vux app for free today.